Warriors NRL Fanatics here back again today with a video but before getting into it please make sure you don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below it's free and it doesn't cost a thing and yeah it just takes one simple click of the button it helps to show your support for the content that I produce each week so do that make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and also don't forget to hit the thumbs up on the video hit that like button and turn on the bell so you don't miss the notification when I do a new video. But let's get into it now. I'm going to go through the 2022 New Zealand Warriors squad. Now, this is currently what we have right now. So it could all change rather quickly. You never know. But um, right now, here it is. So Bunty Afoa, Ewan Aiken, Rocco Berry, Josh Curran, Wade Egan, Adam Fanua Blake, Tahu Harris, Chanel Harris Tavita, Sean Johnson, Eliasa Katoa, Edward Cozzi, Matt Lodge, Marcelo Montoya, Jack Murchie, Ben Murdoch Masilla, Cody Nicarima, Taniala Otokalo, Aaron Penne, Alessia Rituva, which is Junior Rituva, Pride Pedersen Rabati, Adam Pompey, Bailey Sirenin, Jazz Tavanga, Viliami Valia, Reese Walsh, and Dylan Watini Zalesniak makes up the 2022 current squad. Now on to the players in the development list, and um, these are players that are the young, young, younger players. And this is Leighton Farnu, uh, and then you got the Kipu brothers there, the two twins, the Kipu brothers. Um, Kina Kipu and Falangi Kipu there as well. Now on to the 2022 games. Aaron Penny from the Melbourne Storm, Sean Johnson from the Cronulla Sharks, Ash Taylor from the Gold Coast Titans on a train and trial deal. Now we've got a couple of losses here and um, yeah it's quite a big list. Uh, Roger Tuovar-Shik obviously to New Zealand Rugby Union, Chad Townsend to the North Queensland Cowboys, Kane Evans to Howell FC Super League. Lisa Armel, who's retired. David Fusatua to the Leeds Rhinos. Sean O'Sullivan to the Penrith Panthers. Paul, Paul Turner, Gold Coast Titans. Peter Hickey, North Queensland Cowboys. And Jermaine Tanel Brown, North Queensland Cowboys. So, look, my thoughts on the, my thoughts on the squad overall and um, who I think currently will be the biggest loss. Now, Obviously, it's hard to judge because um, it is only November. But if I was to judge right now on the biggest loss for next year, uh, in my opinion, personally, and you guys will probably might disagree with this. But uh, yeah, if you disagree, just let me know in the comment section below if you disagree. But um, I'm going to say my biggest loss for the squad next year, I'm going to go with Peter Heku. And I know people might say, no, Roger to have asked to check easily. But Peter Heku for me is a massive loss because... What he brings to the squad was great. Look, um, I know this year he hasn't had too many great games in first grade. He's had his injuries. But, you know, he was always a player that was, you know, very good. You know, he in terms of attack-wise, he, he he always set up his wingers. He also scored a couple, he's also scored a few tries as well. You know, he can assist in tr scoring tries um, for others. So... Look, it is a massive loss, Peter Hiku, and he's experienced as well, too. you got to remember, even though he's still quite young, he's been around for quite a bit, Peter Hiku. So, yeah, for me, in my personal opinion, if you look at the squad right now, I say Peter Hiku is one of our biggest losses heading into the 2022 NRL season there. So, yeah, look, and, you know, you, you got to look to the future, you know, 2023 as well. You've got the likes of Murad and Nia and Luke Metcalf as well. So, Yep, good squad overall. It's not too bad. I'll say, um, in terms of a rating for the squad, what will I give it right now? Look, I'll say I'll give it a C. I think it's not too bad at the end of the day. And, um, I I'm looking forward to seeing how this squad goes next year. And, uh, yeah, hopefully. The biggest question is, can this team make the finals next year? And, for my personal opinion, I'll say we have to make the finals next year, no doubt about it. But, um, if there is any updates to the squad, I will do another video, but that is what, what the squad is currently, and that is my thoughts on the, on the squad at the moment, and 
who I think is the biggest loss. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think of the 2022 Warriors squad? Do you like it? Or do you think we still need some changes in there? Um, let me know what you think. And also don't forget, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you turn, turn on the bell so you don't miss a notification when I do a new video. As well as hit that thumbs up on the video. Hit that like button. And uh, yeah, also subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, let's get to 850 subscribers. So that is the next goal, is to get to 850 subscribers in the next couple of months. And yeah, on the road to getting to 1K subscribers next season. But thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.